Hello, this is a quick demonstration video of the Cotraco Permaflows data logging function, specifically on how to transfer the data from your Permaflow to the computer. To do this, we have two recommended software av available freely online for you to download. The first software is Putty, and the second software is Teratum. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will be using Teratum, but please note that both software is compatible with the Permaflow, and you're welcome to use either software as you prefer. To begin, please ensure that you've downloaded the Teratum software and installed it on your computer. And then launch the Teratum software, ensuring that the Permaflow is connected to your computer using the USB cable supplied. Remember, on the Permaflow, you will need to enable the USB RS232 in order for it to communicate with the computer and please select the function that you require. The function that you need is described in the operating instructions and please refer to it carefully. Then select serial and ensure that you choose the COM port, which is relevant to the Permaflow's USB connector. Then ensure that you go to setup and check that the serial port settings are exactly as what it says on the operating instructions. You may need to change the parity from none to even, depending on your computer. Once you've set up the Teratum correctly, you may begin the permaflow measurement. But before you begin the permaflow measurement, please ensure that if you are logging and saving this data to your computer, please ensure log is enabled by creating a log file. Uh, in this case, I will just create something sim simple on the desktop and, you, and Teratum will begin the logging process. Now you may start the permaflow measurement. The permaflow is not connected to any flow um, process. As a result, most of the readings are zero. But um, this is you hopefully useful for the for the demonstration. As you can see, I've started the measurement on the permaflow, and on Teratum you can see that the values are being logged. There are several values which are zero because the permaflow is not connected to any flow process at the moment. Once the measurement is complete, you may stop the permaflow. And then you can pause the measurement. Pause the logging, I mean, and then you can close Teratum. I like to use Microsoft Excel to process my log data. And I'm going to launch. Excel now to open the permaflow. So Excel is ready and I'm going to open the permaflow that's saved on my desktop. You may need to change all um, all Excel files to all files to display the TXT file that's exported from um, the permaflow and Teratum. It would say We'll give you a warning, but this file is safe because you've created this. Ensure the setting is delimited, delimited, and you want to put comma as your delimiters because the data is separated by commas to ensure they are spaced correctly. And then you can finish. And this is your log data from the permaflow. Uh, you can edit this data as you please um, according to the operating instructions where it lists down each column and what the uh, readings and measurements correspond to. Uh, I've also created um, a log over here uh, based on the data as, as shown in the operating instructions. It's the date, time, flow velocity, flow rate, and things like that. And this is a previous measurement that I've done before on the flow rig, hence why there are numbers as can be seen. So with these numbers, you can log it and create a graph uh, as you please. And this is one way of how you can log the permaflow data uh, on your computer. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to get in touch and thank you very much for your support.